Hi everyone and thanks for checking in on this second part of the video. So in this video I'll explain you about the mold making, the demolding, the layup, the infusion of the parts and the demolding and finishing of the frame. So if you checked the previous video, I explained how to use the X-Carve to carve the button, how to finish it with some high gloss, polishing, and then get everything ready for the mold making. So now up for the mold making. So the first and most important part is the release agent. So I'm using the chemical release agent from Easy Composites, and you will see it's demolding quite well at the end of the video. So first coat would be the gel coat so it's a tooling gel coat for easy composites so it's a formula where you use the tooling gel coat then you use a coupling coat and then you use the polyester tooling um, resin so this is all what we need and wear a mask it's very important no i am your father <laughs> Okay, so that just looked a bit silly, but it was I thought it was funny to include in the video So this is the gel coat. So um, I'm using around 350 grams for two projects on this one So normally you calculate 600 grams square meter uh, in surface So you use this with a mech hardener and then you catalyze it with one and a half percent till two and then you brush it on onto the part so this is a scary part if this is the first part you're making so if you if the release agent worked well no need to worry about that so um, the second coat is a coupling coat and it's just to avoid print through through the gel coat and get a nice bond in between the gel coat and the tooling resin as a last layer so I'm mixing around 500 grams first thing is you just lay uh, one coat onto the gel coat and then I use a surface veil so it's a 30 grams uh, easy composites do not suggest it but I'll always do it because I'm used to doing it like this and then I back it with a 300 grams um, fiberglass on top of that so I use plenty of resin just to make sure everything is saturated and just roll out all the air with a degasser or um, don't really know how the name is but when you roll out the resin and so on <laughs> so this is for the second part uh, this is the third part already so this is the tooling gel coat so this is a big bucket of resin and I'm just I was checking and it wasn't mixed well so <laughs> the thing you can do is just do a silly dance you just walk around the table with that bucket in your hands um, and make sure you have a good beat on the background so everything should be mixed uh, quite well now so I'm just pouring around one kilogram I guess of resin and just use um, 1% of mech hardener it all depends on the temperature the more you use the faster it will cure but the more heat it will generate and it's not always good to have a lot of heat generate uh, being generated so I'm using three more layers of fiberglass it's uh, 300 grams uh, and just roll out all the air uh, as good as possible and I use plenty of resin just to avoid it being poor in resin and being sticky and pointy on the outside so this is just to show you the exothermal reaction so this will start to heat up so around 39 30 degrees and then you wait uh, overnight maybe 24 hours depending on the temperatures to the mold so this is a point where the part pops out and so the release agent worked well so um, happy till now so there are some things like I was talking about the finish of the parts in the previous video um, if you have some little holes on the parts these will uh, will appear in some bubbles so little mountains on top of the surface so you can just smoothen everything out on the mold so I'm using 600 uh, grit I might have used a bit more because you'll see after the polishing there will still be some holes but these will be holes that you can send out of the part at the end so 
Um, I'm going through the three grids of polishing compounds because I was aiming for a high gloss and after the polishing you'll see and I'm always honest in my videos this surface is not perfect but it's good enough for a few pulls I will get out of this mold so um, you see some minor little dents and so on into the mold uh, but if you would start with a 300 grit uh, take your time till 2000 you'll get a perfect high gloss from this uh, tooling system so back with the chemical release agent I'm applying five coats wait 15 minutes in between and then one hour at the end to get a perfect release so the first layer of uh, 650 grams uh, twill weave um, um, 12k uh, twill weave was applied second layer is the same one and I just apply some spray tag just to get it tightly against the mold uh, and bound, bound the two layers uh, nicely together. Next layer is a peel ply. Peel ply, if you're new to this, will uh, enable you to remove all the excess infusion material you don't want into parts. So it's a nylon fabric. So this is the infusion mesh coming on top. So um, this is quite an easy shape. If you want to start with a project, this is probably a good project to start with. So I'm adding the infusion inlets and the vacuum outlets and then it's time for the bag so um, this is how I work you work your way all the way all the way around add some pleats just to have it um, nicely against all the tight corners of the piece in the mold and this is something new so you can follow me on snapchat I upload some pictures and videos in between the projects so this is the vacuum bagging stage so um, I'm just pulling the vacuum and just massage everything well against the mold so just to avoid, avoid bridging and bridging is where the fabric is not fully against the mold which will result in bubbles and um, resin pour parts maybe so I'm using the infusion resin from easy composites with the slow hardener they also have the fast hardener but for me the fast hardener is a bit too fast at my opinion so I always use the slow one and make sure I have a fully sealed bag without any leaks and so on and then you'll just get perfect parts so this is the infusion I open the resin in uh, and then I'm just I'm buffering a bit with the resin flow and so on just to make sure there's no no air bubbles into the parts and then I wait two days because it's quite cold now it's 12 degrees in the workshop um, so here is the demolding stage and as you can see the release agent is quite good because like it was popping out so just teasing you a bit and myself because I haven't looked at the parts uh, as well at this stage and then I just remove the parts and this is how it comes out of the mold so this is a perfect piece so no pinholes um, a good surface uh, with the mold you have so um, there are still some little um, bubbles on top but all these are sanded and then just uh, used with a clear on top so I removed the flange so this is a bit more about the box I'm not a woodworker but I made this myself if you want to see some more videos about guys that I follow about woodworking it's probably Diresta and I like to make stuff so check them out in the description I'll add a link so here I'm measuring out the uh, center to apply the piece so I just put two bolts through the wooden back and this is a little secret between you and I so this is just some tacky tape onto the bolt just to level level it a bit up um, from the backing plate so this is how I did it so um, this is not very professional but it works so I'm quite happy with this so now it's just the last finishing step it's a stick ring so I just cut out these stickers and then I'll apply them on the glass and this is the 10,000 subscribers label so um, this is a result and this video is all thanks to you guys because if I wouldn't have hit 
uh, hit the 10,000 subscribers this video would probably not exist so I'm very thankful for all of you subscribing to my videos so here are some more videos don't forget to hit the like button subscribe button it's free and comments if needed so don't forget to follow me on other social media as well Facebook Instagram Twitter and snapchat